everyone! Good day, good afternoon, good morning world! This is Leonella, you can call me Leone, and welcome back to my channel! Oh, sorry for my outfit, guys. I just came back from my little walk and little jogging. Kunwari lang. So, I was thinking, as I came back home, I was thinking of doing this little vlog, actually for myself, to remind me of today. To remind me of this time that I am enjoying my perfumes so today I'll be showing to you or I'll be sharing to you guys my perfume closet I actually I'm doing this not for any reason at all but actually I'm doing this to you know to remind myself of good things I'm having and I'm enjoying because you know of the great opportunity that I am having here in Abu Dhabi and able to earn for myself and able to work and able to buy things I love and things I like but this time of the year is for me to think about on no buy policy no perfume buy policy so I'm not sure if I'm gonna hold on to that promise to myself, but I will try. So this video is actually to remind myself that from this day on, these are the perfumes that I'm having. And who knows, maybe in 2022 or next month, in the next few months, this will grow bigger and bigger. Or maybe I'll stop, I don't know. But for now, come and join me as I clean up <laughs> and rearrange my perfumes in my perfume wardrobe. So guys, just a little trivia. <laughs> Not a trivia, I mean, just like... Just, so guys, just a little background story. This display board, what do we call this? Uh, display cabinet or something or whatever. I got this from a secondhand shop, online shop here in Abu Dhabi. This is an IKEA display cabinet worth about 200 plus dirhams, but I got it only for 150 dirhams plus delivery. So I'm having this and I'm enjoying this. And this was actually my Valentine's gift to myself. So since that day, I'm enjoying arranging and looking at my beautiful display over here. And every weekend or from time to time, I get to, you know, wipe my babies, clean up my babies, and you know, disarrange them for my own <laughs> satisfaction. And I'm sure I'm not alone. I know perfume junkies over there also do that. So <laughs> come on, join me. So let's go ahead and start out. Now guys, while I'm doing this, I would like to, you know, chit chat, chit chat and tell you some stories. You know what? When I started out collecting or before I started collecting perfume, I just had about like one or two perfumes at hand. I don't buy any perfumes at all when the perfume I, I'm having is not finished. Or usually I just get some body spray from Victoria's Secret and body shop for my daily wear and I have this in mind that you know it's not so practical and it's not so nice to buy perfumes a very expensive one and then you just consume it after a while three to five months you're gonna end up with nothing right so I'm not really a fan of buying perfume but then when I arrived in UAE you know people here are oh my they smell so good when you go to the mall oh my gosh especially the local ones they bath with perfume and aside from that fact i've also like known people from work you know met people along the way who smell so nice and you know it made me realize that if you smell good it leaves a good impression to the people you meet like they will think of you like aside from the fact that you're kind of social or kind of like can afford type of a person it also gives an impression that you love good things you like to smell good something like that unlike unlike bags and shoes that are really visible that you can like directly see the brand you know you can directly like tell how much is that bag or how much is that shoes that she's wearing perfume is an invisible 
invisible luxury that will serve like a mystery to everybody not unless that person is really like brave enough to you know to compliment you and to ask you what perfume you're wearing because he or she like adores your smell well then by that time they will know what you're wearing but yeah perfume is a mysterious it's an invisible luxury brand and mind you these are also designers you know they put great just like jewelry bags and shoes there are also people who designs the bottle who designs the packaging and most especially who creates the scent himself or herself they call them the nose so yeah then I started collecting and then I start if you call it addiction I don't call it addiction for me I call it hobby <laughs> some people would react how many perfumes you have do you spend all your money buying the perfumes oh no not at all I still do you know um, what do you call this one fulfill my obligations and duties helping out my families paying my bills and because I don't have any other obligation like children or or husband or whatever <laughs> I have my extra money for myself so yeah some girls like to collect makeup some girls dying to buy for their skin routine some girls dying to buy shoes and bags or jewelries for me I like everything actually <laughs> If only I can have everything, I will have everything. Yeah, but I'm not that rich yet. <laughs> so for now, these are my little babies. And it's nice to see them from time to time. I mean, touch them, you know, and feel them from time to time. And it makes me feel good. It, it makes me dream more. It makes me feel happy. You know that I'm enjoying my my work because hey girl wake up and work hard you're such an expensive girl you dream so much so work hard <laughs> so you can buy hard and shop hardest <laughs> oh by the way among all the perfumes I have here a mwaj over here is a tester bottle guys so I'm just trying out how a mwaj really like smell before probably soon I'll get to buy the original one but it's a goal it's a dream <laughs> I'd like also to check on the sunshine I'm watch maybe I'll get a tester someday but as I've said I'm on a no buy policy <laughs> till May okay I can like make an excuse on May it's my birthday <laughs> so I can buy a perfume on May right <laughs> so yeah there you go our first part <laughs> Now, hey, I'm sure you can spot Heart Evangelista over there. <laughs> you know, I'm a Heart Evangelista fan. Die hard fan. Okay, so let's continue cleaning up the bottles that I have here. And to give you a little background, another chit chat story. Okay, something that I would like to share to you, of course, still about perfume, is that, you know, not all perfumes that I have here are you know like expensive as they call it because here in UAE we've got some local black local brands over here kumbaga sa Pilipinas it's called bench <laughs> it's called pen shop something like that so I've got stuff here from UAE which are very affordable and those are my Latafas and my Swiss Arabian okay they are the affordable ones and I love the smell okay some some perfumes over here were gifted to me so you know when your friends know that you love perfume it's easy for them to to think of a gift for you on a special occasion so some of the perfumes I've got here are gifted to me yeah some are on sale 
yeah, here in UAE, there are lots of reasons to have sale. <laughs> and mind you, too many <laughs> reasons for shops to have sales. So, too many reasons also for me to go and buy. <laughs> I was laughing the other day because my friend shared this quotation saying that if there's a sale from 1000 now they're selling it on 750 you're buying it you're happy moral lesson of the story you are not actually saving 250 you are spending 750 <laughs> isn't this cute guys Really, it's a small Carolina Herrera. And based on YouTube reviews, Carolina Herrera and Roberto Cabali, um, Gemma de Paradiso, okay, are of the same scent or same DNA scent. Okay, I've got this as gifts from Soma. Thank you very much. I'm really like dying to have some minis mini perfumes in my collection so i've got now two hopefully i can add some more and guys my delina over here are a long delinas you know got this like maybe four years ago <laughs> so my delina over here okay is no actually these are not delinas this is the delina this is the casili this is the sedberry yeah, these are empties already because I got this for like about what four years ago I think <laughs> they're just there for display <laughs> and this is my favorite Evhar and after nine months I think look at the color it changes yeah but I'm sh but I know the smell is still really really nice I am dying for spring perfumes now and this is one okay spring perfume that I think I will enjoy these days it's the Shalimar Chauffeur de Parfum and of course my coach this is also another spring summer perfume I think I'm gonna make a video entitled my purse and my perfume maybe I can like make a video on that for my coach bag and my coach perfume with my Michael Kors and Michael Kors bag matching type I hope I'm gonna get a DKNY perfume. I'm gonna make also, you know, a matching perfume with my purse. <laughs> and there's already a Forla perfume online. So hopefully I'll get to grab that perfume as well. So I'll have a matching perfume to my matching bag. <laughs> I'm so crazy. This one is also, this is, oh my, my camera is not, oh, I'm sorry guys. Let me, let me. Let me fix my camera. Okay, there you go. This is a Mancera Lemon Mint. Okay. This is a unisex perfume. Okay. The sales agent would like told me that this is a men's perfume. And why am I getting it? It's actually unisex. Yeah. And it's so nice. I love it. Okay, I'll be enjoying this on, on spring summer for sure. Another spring summer perfume. Okay, and of course, my this one, my Viva La Juicy Kutu. <laughs> See how much perfume I already used because this is like the vanilla scent the girly the three times vanilla scent and i like to shower myself with this okay whenever i want to feel young and alive <laughs> so there you go guys i've got my little little gemstone over here my amethyst my rose quartz my i don't know if this is emerald or something okay <laughs> Just little little things there that I'm adding on as a display in my second layer. So here we go. We are in this part of my collection, and mostly over here are my, you know, my loved ones. You know, when when I get to have the the affordable perfumes, but 
no, don't get me wrong. When I say affordable, I'm not putting them down, huh? Because they are really like, oh my, you never, you getting, you getting a cheap perfume with a high class performance. <laughs> My Latafas, my Swiss Arabian, my Taif, my Oud Elite, okay? Oud Elite though, and Rasasi or Taif are brands that are a little, little high-end over here. But my Taif, I got this for, for sale, on sale, okay? So... I did I got that for the original price and same with my Oud Elite. I got it during sales. So I could say that it's affordable <laughs> because I grabbed them during sale sale time. This is Initia <laughs> and this is a bottle just for display. <laughs> a tester bottle actually from a shop and I bought the bottle, the empty bottle. <laughs> Just for a display. Don't get me wrong, guys. <laughs> Mamaya, may mga magko-comment siya ng kung ano-ano. <laughs> you know, some people love to shop and collect shoes. That's expensive, right? Some people have cars. I don't have cars to maintain. So, <laughs> yeah, I admit my money goes, my extra money goes here. But I did not collect this, like, overnight. Okay, this took me like about, I'm almost five years here in UAE. So from then on, I, I, I collected some of, of them and here it, and here it is. <laughs> okay, like this one, this is a local brand. Very strong and sweet one. Oud type actually. And these are my lovely teeth. Okay? Oh my. I cannot exchange teeth for any of the perfume over here. This is the Delina copy. Look at the bottle cup, guys. <laughs> yeah? This is my far. My. What was that? Malachite? Yeah. Hmm? It changes its colors already. Okay, this is my Tom Ford, the Waka Vanille. And this is my Portofino. Neuroli Portofino Tom Ford. And look at the bottle cup, guys. So lovely. Yeah. I think I'm gonna enjoy this this summer for sure. Yes. Okay, now I am actually gonna like bat myself with this one. <laughs> Why not, right? <laughs> and I have my my little sample over here from a friend. This is actually the coveted Duchess Rose and because I like it I bought one. <laughs> yeah. So I put it here and actually I love it for for myself to enjoy. Especially when I go to sleep. <laughs> so <shall. laughs> And over here, come on, come on, come on, guys. These are my purple ones. Yeah. Alien. Talagang tinitipid ko siya, guys. Because, you know, <laughs> I don't know if I can afford myself to buy another one. <laughs> but actually, I bought a dupe of that. So, whenever I feel like, like being bossy, and being confident you know I use the dupe one instead of this because I want to save the juice of this you know because <laughs> it's expensive <laughs> and of course you know if you can just see the dent of this it's over here okay it's over here <laughs> I use this more often it's my favorite it's Yasmin it's this is one of the first perfume I used in my blog, and I love it. This one, I don't know, maybe I just bought this because of the bottle, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> this one too, <laughs> maybe just because of the bottle too, <laughs> I don't know. This were gifted to me. <laughs> 
It's a dupe of a Tom Ford Orchid. Orchid, whatever. Yeah, name. <laughs> it's called Jenny Glow. It's from the Sterling Company. It's actually a product um, of UAE. But they manufacture their, their perfume in France, as they say. But the company is owned by by UAE. So, yeah. Jenny Glow is a a duping brand of a perfume. Uh -huh. This is Al Harame. This is also like a UAE brand. So I think mostly over here are UAE local brands except for my Alien and my Lalik of course and my Elizabeth Arden. I got this for free <laughs> to match with my Alien perfume. So yeah guys, there you go, my third layer. So we come to a part where this is the last layer of my collection. Okay, This is um, Rihanna Rebel Floor. Okay, most of the perfumes here are the really cheap ones. Cheaper than Avon guys, really, I'm telling you. Some are 25, 30 dirhams, something like that. Some were gifted to me, some were like, you know, I got from sale. So, yeah, don't get me wrong, guys. Some loves to collect stuff toys. Again, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> defend and make some excuses of having this collection. But, well, to each of his kind. <laughs> Really, yeah? So I think I'm gonna stop my collection to this day till I get the chance again to have some extra money <laughs> yeah because I think this is already too much <laughs> for me to wear <laughs> I think this this perfume will gonna last me like for two to three more years to finish all this one <laughs> yes and I think I had I have enough perfume to to review in my in my blog <laughs> yeah in my channel so Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to stick to that no buy policy promise <laughs> to myself. Inshallah. <laughs> yeah, but who knows? I'm open to accept gifts. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm open to accepting gifts <laughs> to add to my collection. <laughs> okay, don't get me wrong, guys. Some maybe five or seven bottles over here are already empty. <laughs> So, don't be this guys, okay? Not totally empty. I live about like maybe 5 ml much, okay? <laughs> As a sample to the scent. Yeah. Some are oils. This, this is oil. Okay, this is also oil. Look at this bottle, guys. Oh my, fantastic, right? Amazing. This is from Al Haramein. And this is what we call the Oyuni. Oyuni. Okay, I've asked the sales agent, and then he said that Oyuni is actually a. What do you call this one? Oyuni is actually a Arabic name or Arabic translation for the eye. Can you see the eye, guys? <laughs> Can you see the eye, guys? Can you see the eye? <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if it's really the eye, but yeah. Oh, you need the eye. The eye.
Now, these are my latafas. This is a Baccarat Rouge dupe. Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe. And, uh, and that performs very nice. I got the flunkers too. The leathery one, the musky one, and the sweet one. This one is an oud perfume. A very strong one. So yeah. Someone enjoys this scent very much these days. I love it, you know. I love smelling this. On him, on her, secret! <laughs> Donna Italiana from Armoff. This is also a dupe of Dolce and Gabbana. I don't know what exactly. But you know, I realized I, w I wore a Poison Dior the other day. I realized that Poison Dior and this one are like almost exactly the same. Yeah, maybe because of the nutty or the sweetie or the vanilla. I don't know. Maybe sometime I'll get to have some review about that. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my cleaning session. <laughs> I cannot disarrange them for now because I love watching them, seeing them in that way, in that position. So maybe sometime, next time, I'll get to, you know, disarrange them. And oh, by the way, guys, you see my standees over there? Those are some jewelry boxes that I also collected since the day I came to UAE. And just wrap them in white papers and then have them as a standee over there. So, I'll show you a closer look of it. So, there you go. Yeah. Those are the standees I made. Okay. These are the little holders I have for my daily jewelry so I can just like grab them when I will use them. I don't think so they're gonna discolorate or something because my perfumes are close, right? <laughs> It'll not be contaminated, I'm sure. Or comment down there if you think it will, you know, discolorate or contaminate with the perfumes if I put them closer to the perfumes. What do you think, guys? <laughs> So yeah, there you go. I'll 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 make a big 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 um, tour. A big shot of my 